Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The you know what is hitting the fan in Loudoun County again. Let's get into it. For those of you who don't remember, in Loudoun County, Virginia, there was a huge upset when a father was dragged out of a school board meeting and basically beaten up by cops because he tried to address the board about an assault that his daughter suffered in the bathroom at the school. It turns out that the assailant who did it to her was a boy wearing a skirt going in and out of girls' bathrooms, and he had done it in another school to another girl, and the school covered it up. It is a huge problem. There are people who have been indicted now who sit on the board. They are facing actual criminal charges, and a whistleblower has come forward to talk about some violent threats people who work at Loudoun County gave against parents speaking up. Let's hear what this is. Exclusive, a whistleblower sent at 7 News DC copies of violent threats made against people who have spoken at Loudoun County school board meetings. The threats and plots to get people fired appear to be from people associated with several Loudoun County elected officials and candidates. Well, that sounds terrible. Let's find out. Parents should absolutely be able to go to a public meeting for a publicly elected school board and express their opinion. This is a conspiracy to intimidate us. Threats of violence and plots to get people fired for speaking out at Loudoun County school board meetings. These three Loudoun County residents have been outspoken at school board meetings. And what they also have in common is they've been threatened. I just was taken back when I received a phone call from the sheriff's department, a deputy, saying that I was being threatened online. The online threats happened in a Facebook group called the Loudon Love Warriors. It's a group that includes staff, volunteers, and supporters of several elected officials and candidates here in Loudon County. Seven News obtained hundreds of messages from a whistleblower in the group who thought the conversations were going too far. After Mark Wynn spoke at a school board meeting in December, one person in the Loud and Love Warriors group said they wanted to define Wynn's employer and hold the company accountable until he is fired. The person wrote, quote, say goodbye to your job. Let's make him unemployable by love or by force. I want to contact his employer to do just that. To be clear, these are people who work for board members. They are employed by the county working in their offices. This is outrageous. Ruin his livelihood, unquote. We really need to find this guy. His life needs to be permanently disassembled. I would shoot him. I'm telling you, something has to happen to one of them. Something public and permanent. Lives need to be ruined beyond repair. I'm so ready to show up with guns, unquote. Sure. And despite sure. the violent wow. comments, a Loudoun County real estate agent posted Wynn's yeah. address in the group. <gasps> but that's not all. Wynn showed us an email the real estate agent sent to his employer asking them to take action against him. They threaten, you know, threaten my life and my livelihood. This is happening at a time when Wynn's wife is battling stage four cancer. But cancer is a tough thing. Lovely and people. Wynn says he never imagined being threatened for his school board speech, which included a Bible verse. <laughs> Wynn's speech also compelled some loud... Well, that's it. He's clearly a terrorist. He read from the Bible. ...and county residents to launch an online petition to ban hate speech at school board meetings. The petition was circulated by... Stop it. There's no such thing as hate speech. The Loud and Love Warriors group. Quoting uh, the Loud and Love Warriors group is issuing death threats against people for exercising their First Amendment right to petition their governments at school board meetings. Make it make sense. We've got county employees caught threatening parents. Uh, but, you know, they're only taking the Department of Justice's uh, lead. The Department of Justice, you know, could de determined that parents that go to school board meetings can be considered domestic terrorists. So until we stop these people, this is really a free speech issue, until we stop these people from being able to go after the careers of people for speaking their mind, um, until they face some sort of consequence for this, it will continue happening. This, this goes right to the First Amendment, right to the heart of the matter, which is that we have a right to speak in public. We have a right to speak on the internet. And nothing we say is hate speech. Nothing anyone says is hate speech. It might be hateful, it might be unpleasant, but it's all free. And it's all allowed. I'm Megan Fox. Like and subscribe.